Right, let's go and rummage through his desk. Oh. Here we go. Where are you going? Ah, okay, you have to go the long way around, of course. Hands on hip moment. There's a room key. 207, is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Um, and you will not. I want to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I'm going to try and keep the imagery of uh, of Crane and her kind of uh, the, uh, away. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. I'm really glad she said interactions. I thought she said something slightly There's different. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Just keep repressing his memories. It won't be fine. So no, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. <laughs> Kept asking me Come to on, bend over. Better. Tank Top Tuesday should have been a massive hint. Uh, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As as I explained in my last layer, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this, I think this should be made a priority. Best Wayland, or the alien dude. I wonder if he's at the farm. I doubt it. But he might be. Uh, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you fixed the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us with a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Who the fuck's Boy Blue? No one knows. Can I just phone someone? Ask where he is. Uh, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in, two, in 204. It's falling off the fucking room, is it? As it is. And I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already pr promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Probably should have gone for the secret drawer first, but... It's locked. Not anymore. Uh, the Office of Business Affairs and something, 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 something. The writing's really awkward. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Hi. It's a ring, at least. No shit. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. That's a great show. What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. Oh. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Oh, Buffkin. fuck you, Buffkin. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Already, I like him again. It's fine. At 2 tonight. Where? What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be. And that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. He said it. So, can we find the dull pervert? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Big Oh, you right, shit. Business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he's spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Just turn around and pretend he's not there. To see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. 
put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. <laughs> yes. No crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And yep. that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. Yeah, I'm gonna go with all stuff. All these things. That'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for Watch the key, me, remember? bitch. I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. <laughs> what concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before I'm just gonna be quiet. No interest, I've been fucking up everything else. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ah. He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> this is God, how I hope that's right. Would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Okay. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Yeah, you're right. We don't have the time, so why are you fucking telling me? Where are you gonna go, Bigby? I'm gonna go to Lily's place. See, I'm just gonna walk away. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Oh fuck. Um Crane's fuck place it. is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles office. Yeah, Crane's cool. penthouse number is nineteen oh three. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. No, I don't. I severely do not at this point. It's getting quite pressured. Um I think yeah, I think Crane's I originally was gonna go to Holly's place and look at Lily's stuff, but Holly didn't seem too happy about me. So I think that might be a bit of a, a situation where the you know the wheels are kind of just turning, but we're not going anywhere. We're probably gonna end up fighting with Holly for like twenty minutes. Plus, Crane's place is right upstairs. Um, hopefully, we can quickly have a look through his shit and uh, find something. So I apologize if you keep hearing. Uh, said Crane lives in one nine zero three. Oh, whoops. Which is open. I'm just gonna go in, fuck it. Hopefully catch him by surprise. Rain. Oh no, I hate time limits. No! Don't do this to me, game. Has he got a bust of himself? Yeah, he does. That's kinda great. I would have that. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Oh, you think. Um it's just a picture of himself, isn't it? What the fuck's that clock offer? Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't having a mood right here. I like making house calls. I have 
better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and Chad pick up Friday, he used to teach in the old days. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! See ya! Hmm. What's in this? Uh, money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Oh shit, he's paying off someone. On here. I'm confiscating this money. Because it's, it's ace. I feel like that might bite me in the ass later. My dear but. Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. What you work? My something hole something? I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. <sighs> okay. Ooh, a key. Nab it. Didn't she say we couldn't find a key for something? I don't think that statue's going Oh, is he the headless horseman? Okay, so there must be... Okay, we're stuck on the globe. That's not... Okay, I'm walking into shit now. That's great. Camera, can you, uh, can you help? It's not a secret passageway, is it? Touch it! Really? Touch it! Touch it? Oh, damn it. Okay, so I'm... Key? got to be. Come on. Grab him. Do it. Jack. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I'm going to beat you shitless, you piece of places. shit. Well. Weather, right? Dude, I have like an hour and a half. But you know some people like that sort of thing. Don't play dumb. I'm running very low on patience tonight. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. Boo shit. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Slick. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> caught you like a... Something. You got me. Guess, cool. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. Well? I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. You know where Crane is. Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? I was kind of hoping so, yes. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. I think he's telling the truth. <sighs> I should probably count, don't I? Probably best if I don't throw punches you know, as well. Tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Sure. Well, I wish to punch this guy. Like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Okay, that's fair. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane, right? Yes. I don't know where he is. But what if I told you I know who might know where he is? Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. Okay. I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. 
I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. We got a deal. I think I got a deal with him. He's... Now tell me nice. where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her what name is Auntie Green. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. If you're looking for Crane, she might know how to find him. How reliable is this information? Are you sure you have the right name? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find Oh, for fuck's sake. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's <sighs> more than what you came in with. True. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Uh, steady on. <sighs> it was just... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Take the bag, Hang thank you. Oh, come on. You weren't here, remember? Ooh. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yep. It's kind of my special bully. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could white sell deer. these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. And blowjobs. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Ow. Hand them over. To me. What? You know what? Hand them over. Thank you. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? I'm done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? Myself. What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling. I was kind of hoping I could just pocket that, but okay. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Exactly. You think this is tied to the murders? Go ball sleep. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I Probably. Think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Would oh, she be shit. listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. Fuck, I don't even know where to start. Try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Ah, shit. Uh, I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure oh, so man. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and... I was going to go for Lily's place, but... Let me know what I think it's probably I'll been be burnt. Touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Just the way the game kind of goes. I think Hang if on, I'd. Jack, I want to talk to you. Lol. Yeah, I think the, the way the game goes. If I'd gone to Lily's place first, I would have caught the stuff, but then I wouldn't be able to catch Jack. I think catching Jack was important, because now I I know about Greenleaf at, at least. I've got a name. I can kind of throw about. Oh hi, John. Yeah, yeah. Cause the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt in, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Hombre. Oh, mess with me, got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. What the fuck is he? Flycatcher. Are you okay? Your face. Uh, Bluebeard was here. Oh man. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. 
But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What a fucking asshole. They don't just scream at the kid. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... My I'm face. Really Was he telling the truth? Kind of. He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. <sighs> don't worry about it, flycatcher. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> Crane already let That's me That's a great beard, place. though. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. <laughs> Look, Seems so happy. running out of time. Oh, no, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? Does it tend to two? Trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and... Um, I reckon I've majorly fucked this up now. Okay, I, I guess. There's no way that stuff's still gonna be there. About that job, all right? Sure, sure. Yeah, whatever. Take care of yourself, fly. You too, Sheriff. Big oh, he's he's dead. I like him, so he's gonna die. 